Uh, sorry about that. I uh, accidentally turned off the um, video. So getting back to the middle bolt. So right here, um, there, that's a good view of it. There is a, um, I had a, uh, an exhaust manifold bolt, one bolt right there, but it's in the middle of the motor of the engine. And Dorman does not make a single bolt clamp that uh, you can use in this location, but Crawl does. Um, so it, you'll see it bolts right there into one of the pre-drilled uh, holes on the head, uh, 9 sixteenths. And this is the only weird thing here. The cinch bolt is uh, eight millimeters. I used an eight millimeter Allen wrench, uh, hex wrench. And they say to cinch that to, I think, 15 pounds. So um, my uh, torque wrench, uh, I did not have a socket, an eight millimeter socket. So I just did it by hand and made, it, made sure that it was relatively tight. Um, this one was by far the easiest, peasiest thing to put in. Um, again, it was uh, five minutes, maybe not even. Um, 9 sixteenths, uh, no, I'm sorry, um, 15 millimeter I used on the bolt. Um, the only uh, caveat here was make sure it's not touching the, uh, I, I, I made sure it wasn't touching where the spark plug, uh, um, I guess that's the spark plug right there. And um, by the way, I took off spark plug wires to make all of the installations easier. Um, but uh, in any event, I have uh, two uh, crawls and three Dormans on my truck now. Um, so some words of wisdom, take your time, have a friend help you. Uh, it'll go a lot quicker and uh, don't be afraid to take stuff off to make it easier. The heat shield, the uh, EGR valve, the air intake, spark plug wires, uh, all of these things are really easy to get to and do. Um, I would also um, recommend Crawl uh, for a couple of reasons. One, uh, it sounds like a family owned business um, located in the United States. Their customer service, um, I ordered that center clamp recently on the uh, 28th and I got it on the 31st um, and uh, just really nice people they emailed me back when I had a question again about the front clamp fitting in behind the EGR valve they were very responsive as was Dorman but again Dorman doesn't have a workaround uh, for the front uh, where the EGR valve is they don't have a single um, clamp uh, if one in the center goes I think their clamps, I think both of the companies, their clamps might work as a double, um, but I'm not sure, but I needed this single area. So Crawl had it there. So all in all, um, both good companies, I would go with Crawl the next time, uh, just so I had have them all consistent, bolt sizes, et cetera, it would all be consistent. Um, and here's the best, two best news. One, um, I don't have the dreaded ticking anymore. And um, after I drive it around for uh, maybe a tank of gas, I'm gonna make sure that all of the cinch bolts are tight. And here's another good thing. The um, service engine light was on uh, for years on this thing. And I've had the exhaust leak for years on this thing. I, uh, it was a EGR valve code. I did everything. I cleaned the EGR ports. Uh, I even went as far as replacing the EGR valve um, a few years ago. Nothing got rid of the code. Um, guess what? As soon as I put the uh, clamps on the four corners, uh, not even that uh, middle one, um, the service engine light went out. I haven't seen it since. No codes. I had my uh, blue driver code reader out. No codes are showing. Not bad for a 209,000 uh, mile, uh, 2001 Chevy, 2500 HD. Um, again, please remember, not a videographer, not a mechanic, just thought I'd give you my impressions. Um, do this job if uh, you got a problem. 
All right. Uh, hope you have a uh, healthy and prosperous 2023. Out.